look at all those people on screen and I think that looks like me, that looks like my uncle, that looks like my mom, that looks like my grandmother. To see themselves on screen is in the absolute biggest dream. Wait, did you invite him? They want to put a pipeline right through my land. Being indigenous people working on the show, it's, it's, it's an honor, honestly. It's an honor to be a part of a project that is giving so much knowledge to the people that they're unaware of. Being able to populate that set with indigenous faces from in front of the camera and behind the camera, that was a huge accomplishment and a, a real source of pride for me in this process. Bob Mark. These guys need to know that they're going to be really profiled. What are you doing here? I figured it was a good day to die. I hope everyone watches the show because I think there's a little takeaway for everyone that gets to watch the show. If you're, you know, an Indigenous youth, then you get to feel not so alone and maybe the things that you're facing in your life. Where are you from? Foster kid. You're not one of the lazy ones. <laughs> Thanks. It's about young people being able to see themselves represented and to relate to something and not feel outside of that. Where would you like to sew like that? Sewing moccasins. You know, working with young kids, Joel and Anna Lam and Nathan Alexis, you know, it's it's super exciting to be on a on a set surrounded by indigenous people, but to have the young ones like that, to think, okay, I have the ability to make a difference. You know, like I have the ability to do what other indigenous actors have done for me. Have you never ridden a motorcycle? No. I look at these, these young ones and I think, well, this is the future. I shouldn't have invited your dad to the protest. Honestly, I'm glad you did. I think that the different levels of First Nation talent that's coming together from all the way from the showrunner right down to interns. Like you've got everybody working every different department. It's powerful. There's so many different levels working so well together. It's just really therapeutic for me, you know? Spiritually and emotionally, it's wonderful for me to be here. Hi, Mom. <sighs> Being on the Trickster has been amazing. Just to be surrounded by, um, you know, other Indigenous cast and to be surrounded by such an amazing crew. I feel at home every day that I'm on set. I feel like I am you know, hanging out with my cousins or hanging out with my brothers and sisters. Just such a beautiful environment. My day job. Show. Oh my gosh, where do I begin? Okay, I'm a stunt trainee, although I don't really need any training, you know, fairly rough and tumble. And I also did one role for a customer. Had a blast. What's up with you? It's definitely, I would also say, eye-opening. Because on the projects I've worked on before, there hasn't been too much Indigenous representation behind the camera. There has been full effort to make the script shine in indigenous subjects, but there hasn't been, from my experience, a full effort to make that shine in all angles of the film. Don't go AFK, which is really nice for me. It's a game changer, I would even say. I killed you. It's about making space for other cultures and other voices, and it's also about understanding different perspectives. And I would hope that Trickster is able to open up a level of understanding. And I also think it's an opportunity for us to celebrate our like amazing storytellers and our mythologies. And we have such a rich storytelling culture in various indigenous nations. And I think a lot of Canadians don't know about those nuances. So I think to be able to really look at those stories, that's a really incredible gift to be able to give all Canadians. Thank you.